हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर ऑनलाइन कोर्स ऑन रेफ्रिजरेशन एंड एयर कंडीशनिंग नाउ ये जो लेक्चर है वो सबसे अलग रहेगा अभी तक आपने ये जो टर्म है वन एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू सेवन सिक्सटी एम एफ एच जी एंड वन एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू टेन पॉइंट थ्री मीटर ऑफ वाटर कॉलम ये आपने बहुत बार देखा है बहुत बार यूज़ भी किया है और ज़्यादातर जगह पर आपको बताया जाएगा दिस इज़ नथिंग बट स्टैंडर्ड बट If it is standard from something or somewhere it has came, and in today's video lecture we are going to find out why this one atmospheric pressure is equal to 760 mm of PHG as well as one atmospheric pressure is equal to 10.3 meter of water column. For that, we are going to move towards the definition of pressure. Now, what is the definition of pressure? That is equal to force. पर यूनिट एरिया और आई कैन राइट पी इज इक्वल टू यफ अपॉन ए लेट अस से दिस एज इक्वेशन नंबर वन नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू न्यूटन्स न्यूटन बाबा जो थे उनका जो भी सेकंड लॉ था अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट सेकंड लॉ हम क्या लिख सकते हैं यफ इज इक्वल टू मास इन टू एक्सलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी Now let us put this equation number two in equation number one. Therefore, P is equal to m into g divided by area. Let us say this as equation number three. Now, as we are knowing the definition of density, that is equal to mass per unit volume. Therefore, I can write mass is equal to density into volume. And this volume, how I can write? Area into height or length. What does it mean? Now, let us put this equation number four in equation number three. Therefore, what I will get P is equal to instead of mass, what I can write rho a h into g divided by area. Now, which things we can cancel? I can cancel this a with this a. I will get therefore P is equal to rho g h. and many of the times you might have told that this is standard equation but the, how this standard equation came you might have understood here we have used only the basic definitions of pressure and newton second law of motion and density that's it now how we can use this uh, how we can use this equation then i write the Now, how we can use this standard equation which we have derived just now, P is equal to rho g h, in order to get the two answers. Now, see here. Let us consider here case one, and here we will consider case two. Now, P is equal to rho g h. Where P is nothing but what? One atmospheric pressure that is one point zero one three two five bar. Convert that in terms of newton per meter square. It will come something like this. That is equal to in case one we are going to use mercury. Now how much is the density of mercury? Thirteen thousand six hundred into g is nine point eight one into h. Now just go on calculating it. I will get h is equal to Seven sixty mm of EHG. We have received the answer for this. Now let us move towards the case number two once again. P is equal to rho g h. P is one atmospheric pressure that is equal to one point zero one three two five into ten raised to five. That is equal to density of water that is equal to one thousand into nine point eight one into h. therefore i will get h is equal to 10.3 meter of water column now you might have understood how we are getting these two values by using this standard equation and from where this standard equation has came thank you thank you so much hopefully you might have enjoyed the lecture then please do like the video and know your thoughts in comments Please do share this video among your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. After subscription, you can press the bell icon to never miss the notification regarding our new videos. Thank you, thank you so much.